congratulations on this film. Um, this one hit really hard. It's just a beautiful, poignant story about love and your performance is just so lovely and stunning. So just congratulations. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah I've, been, I've been married for um, almost eight years now. So it, it was like, I was like, okay, this is, <laughs> you know, and it's all here. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, let's just start off. If you could please describe um, the complex character that is Albie. Um, yeah, I mean, it's hard. I, it's hard. What I find more interesting is hearing like how other people would describe her, you know, because I feel like that's the thing is like Steve and I had so many conversations about like how, uh, people interpret her or maybe how she'd come off and where that comes from so I feel like my understanding of her is quite different from other people's experience of her um mm -hmm. but I would just say that she's a a wounded and prickly person yes absolutely um you know like you said she's wounded I think it's very clear that it's this this idea of hurt people hurt um and you know, when we meet Albie, she's going through, she's in a lot of pain caused by what we find out her past childhood trauma. Um, how do you feel like the film explores the importance of self-acceptance and self-love, not only within yourself, but when you're in a partnership and a relationship? Yeah. Um, it's hard to like talk about it without sounding like super cliche. But <laughs> That's true but though. It's very true. But it's true. It's like, I think anytime, especially in like relating to another person, it's like, you can't, you know, it's just simple things like you can't be kind or you can't be present if you're not that with yourself. And the interesting thing about them is that it came from such a young age and, you know, it like was founded in their youth. And so they've really not found themselves um, as adults. I think they've gone through like, there's lots of like harbored transformation that has like where you meet them is like yet to be discovered or like yet to come out, mm -hmm. um, which is like to me a huge part of the like pressure cooker that is like our film. Yeah, absolutely. That's what I found to be so relatable, especially within my own experience is that I met my husband, very different circumstances with Albie and Walker, but I met my husband when we were like, you know, 21 mm -hmm. and you, you know, past trauma aside, like these two people are just growing into themselves as well. They're in their early twenties where you're so you're still developing, you're still learning about yourself, you're still growing. And then you still have to be, it's like that idea of growing into yourself while you're also growing with someone else. It can be really tough and tricky. Um, and this idea too, it's so true. It's like, if you don't acknowledge, I think too, with Albie, what is so beautiful throughout the film is that acknowledgement that mm -hmm. she realizes how important it is that she has to, she needs to feel like she deserves love. Yeah. Or for her relationship with Walker to even begin healing and to work. Yeah. I mean, you can't like be present for somebody else or just be like, you can't hide from yourself, you know? And like, I think people try. And I think that's her thing is I think she's really like hiding from her own like I think she's just trying to like hide behind walk or hide behind anything mm -hmm. um, and it doesn't really work so well <laughs> it doesn't <laughs> she can't hide behind her fries oh my god <laughs> like, <laughs> this movie made me want fries I'm like a huge potato lover like in all forms me and, too. oh is that oh my god it's just like there's nothing better than a, like a Big ass plate. Of, oh, I'm so sorry. My doorbell just rang. It must be a package. Sorry. <laughs> um, Did you order potatoes? Oh my gosh, I should have. Oh my, I might after this. I might. To talk to me. I'm honored. Oh God, like extra crispy. What's your favorite like dipping sauce with a fry? Like, do you, are you a classic gal like ketchup or? I'm a ranch person. Oh wow, I was gonna say I like mayo. Or like a chipotle mayo, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm getting, yeah, <laughs> I haven't eaten breakfast yet. So I'm like, okay, fine. <laughs> um, I also would love to chat about this idea of, you know, not judging people 
as it's so easy. It's so easy right off the bat for um, Carly and Ben to judge Mm -hmm. Albie because she's being just, she's making it, like you said, she's not making it easy to kind of be on her side. She's not making it easy to sort of have any sort of empathy for her in the beginning. And we like, you know, we find out why, but I think that it's another kind of important lesson. It's so easy for us as people, like whether we're driving and we're in traffic and, you know, we honk, it's like, but we don't know where that person's going. We don't know where they're coming from. And I feel like that's also an important lesson throughout the film. Yeah. That's what I, it's cool to me. Like I said, it's cool to me to hear what other people take away from it. Cause I think being so like intimately involved, yeah. um, it's, it makes me feel like we did our job that people like anybody that I've talked to has different like lessons that they yeah. have feel like they've taken away or like different things that they've interpreted. And that's really cool. So like, I love hearing that, that I love hearing that that's something that you got. Cause you know, I think really like to me, it is a story about like interpretation and misinterpretation and how like people are just people and we interact and we have like things that stand out to us and things, you know, that are misinformed or like we didn't intend to come off the way. And like, really, I think there's just so much of that. And then it's like how we take that and react off of each other. Mm -hmm. Um, So yeah, I mean, like speaking to the judgment thing, like I think that that's, I don't like feel the need to speak to it as much as I think it's really cool that people come away with meaningful things to think. Yeah, Yeah, that's beautiful. That's the point of storytelling, right? I mean, (laughs) Um, which takes me to my next question. Like what has your experience playing Albie, producing this film as well, taught you most about yourself? (sighs) Um, (laughs) It was cool. I mean, it was, It was very cool. Like, I think I've never been challenged um, creatively Mm. as much as I was challenged with this or in the way that I was challenged with this. Like, I've always wanted to, like, do a movie like this and be able to tell a story like this that just feels so, like, intimate and fair. And there's kind of nothing to hide behind, you know? There's no, like, special effects. There's no stunts. There's no, like, anything crazy that it's just really, like, it's just honest interaction hopefully you know and being able to do that is like very simple and also very scary um so I think both like as a person to and and as an actor um and as a producer making sure that like to me that's like our that was like our north star um I think that was like I've always wanted to do that but then to like be there and actually like have the opportunity to do it felt like all right now I gotta like walk the walk and talk the talk you know yeah it's incredibly raw yeah. and I'm just like just from watching it I can just tell that it, it's a like what you were saying earlier about hearing how other people's experience was watching the film and what lessons they took away it, it's just a personal film you know it just feels personal it feels like it was personal to make it feels like it's personal to watch it's um it's just one of those lovely just raw films that that I also love that has it's it's got the light and the dark yeah yeah Um, very honest to like life you know and relationships and stuff like it's complicated exactly there's dark moments and then but then there's light and I love those it's just like it was just such an honest film that is like the best way of putting it it's just an honest film and that is a reflection of life and like I think you know, at the end of the day, we love all genres. And, you know, like you said, it's fun. It's fun to see the the stunts and the CGI. But I think at the end of the day, it's like, this was, um, this was completely vulnerable. This is like, yeah, there's nothing to hide behind. And y'all just stepped up to the plate and just gave us a beautiful film, which is like I said, stunning performances. So um, yeah, I just, I'm, I'm proud of y'all. I don't even know you personally, but I'm like, <laughs> Proud of you. <laughs> okay, friends. Now I know each other. Anyway, let's eat some fries. Um, <laughs> love it. I actually, oh man, I had some great fries the other night. Anyways, I'm going to let you go. I know you have a busy, busy day. Um, enjoy the festival, you know, just Thank accept you. all that love coming your way with Thank this amazing so film. Much. Where do you live? Where did you get your fries from? I am in LA. Where'd you get your fries from? My fries? No, I didn't get the fries. That I don't know what that was, but I'm gonna get fries. But if I were to get fries from LA, 
It's a good question. I don't know. I mean, I like, there's so many, there's so many good fry, like places I could get them. I don't know, man, just anything. I'm not too picky with my fries. All right. I'll take it. You know what I mean? (laughs) Not too seasoned though. I want them just like salt, like, you know what I mean? I don't need, um, I don't need anything fancy. Yeah. (laughs) All right, Amber, thank you so much. 